Bhagavad A popular thing out there for bloggers and vloggers is to do a random facts about me tag blog post or video and basically it's what it sounds like. It's random facts about themselves that they share with people that read their blog, watch their videos, and then they tag somebody to do the same thing, whether it's a friend or a fellow blogger or vlogger. And I recently did a 50 facts about myself, but I left out all my judo facts about me. And if you know anything about my channel, you know that judo is my favorite hobby and I cover a lot of stuff on my channel related to judo. Well, that's because I wanted to start something new, which is a judo facts about me uh, tag, blog post or video. And I'm gonna tag two individuals and you probably know who they are if you're a fan of judo. The first one is Matt Aquino. Matt was a 2008 Beijing Olympian with the Australian judo team. And he's also the founder of Beyond Grappling, which is an online resource for coaching and training. You've probably seen uh, one of his many videos on YouTube. And the second person, Victor Garcia Osada, also, you undoubtedly have watched one of his Epona of the Week videos or his awesome highlight or compilation videos. He's Judo Attitude, Victor Garcia Osada. Remember, no limits with attitude. Okay, 50 facts about Judo is asking a lot. So I actually put together a list of 20. Matt and Victor, you can do as many as you like. But here we go, 20 Judo facts about me, Red Dragon style. Number one. My official judo rank is Nidan, which is a second degree black belt. I'm registered with USA Judo, which is the national governing body for the sport of judo in America. And since I live here in Korea, I also got my Nidan with the Korean Judo Association. Number two, I was 18 years old when I got started in judo. Uh, maybe a little late to some, but I had a lot of prior martial arts ex uh, training and experience before that. But ever since then, it's been judo all the way. Number three, I wanted to teach ESL uh, in 1997 in either Japan or Korea for the purpose of training in Judo. Well, now I'm here many years later, but my priorities have changed, though I do still keep on the mat, stay on the mat with Judo, uh, but that was my original reason for wanting to come here. Number four, one of my first Judo clubs was the Portsmouth Judo Club in New Hampshire at the Connie Bean Center, and it was founded in 1953. Now my coach at that time, and this is in the 90s, uh, he's still the head coach there. So hello, Sensei Cal. Number five, a video that I did of my judo master here in Korea uh, landed him on national television uh, a national television show up in Seoul. And probably many of you have seen it, it's called the strength of a 64 year old Korean judo master. I would check that out. It shows you what'll, what judo will do for you if you just stay with it long term. Number six, most influential figure in judo for me is Jimmy Pedro. Jimmy Pedro is a two time bronze Olympic medalist. He won the world championships once. He's also the uh, United States Olympic judo coach. And Jimmy's a pretty exceptional person. He uh, has an MBA from an Ivy League school, and at that school, he was also the captain of his wrestling team. That's a Division I school. So a Division I wrestler, world champion judo, and a great, great inspiration uh, to a lot of people. Doesn't get much better than that. We're proud of you, Jimmy. Number seven, I prefer a, I prefer a standard uh, grip on the lapel as opposed to a high grip, even though I'm a tall person. Just gives me, I feel like it gives me more options and it kind of hides some of the potential techniques. If you take a high grip sometimes, I think people kind of know what's coming and, and they can defend that a little easier. Number eight, Tashiwaza or Neiwaza. And for those of you not familiar with Judo, Tashiwaza are standing techniques, Neiwaza is ground fighting techniques. And I would have to say that I prefer Neiwaza these days just because it's less injury. Number nine, I think that Olympic Judo these days uh, should adapt to what's going on in the world and have an all Neiwaza division. Uh, that would give the, I mean, we all see the direction that the grappling arts are taking these days with Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and all that. I think it would give all the best ground fighters in the world a chance to get into the games and to show their skill set 
and also to, to give some of the top level judo players who may be stronger in Awaza than standing uh, a chance to get into the Olympics and see how they do against the Jiu Jitsu guys. Number 10, my favorite Nawaza technique, Ude Garame. Number 11, my favorite player of all time, I actually have two. First one, obviously, uh, Kosai Inoue. I think he's the greatest of all time, arguably, just because of the way that he beat people and in the era, and in the era that he beat them, uh, with judo being so international. My second favorite was in my time when I was training hard, and that's Powell the Stool from Poland. Blue gi or white gi? Well, I have a blue gi here with me in Korea, but I actually prefer the white gi. Number 13. In 1995, I entered the United States National Judo Championships in Indianapolis, Indiana. My first match was against Olympic alternate and current USA Judo president, Lance Nading. He beat me with Uchimata, Ipon style. Number 14. I still have a few of the original 101 Judo Ipon videos on VHS tape. This is before DVD. I'm old school. Number 15. <laughs> this crooked finger here is from Judo. I tried to do uh, a double leg takedown on somebody in practice and I broke it and then I never set it right. So if you ever dislocate or break a finger or something like that, if you don't want it gnarly, make sure you set it and splint it and keep it that way. Just stay out of practice for a while. It's not gonna kill you. Number 16, I stayed and trained at the Kodokan, birthplace of judo in Tokyo for a week. That was a great experience. I would recommend it for anybody. 18, I'm sorry, 17. I competed in the Amcan International Judo Challenge in 1995 mainly because I wanted to see Niagara Falls. Um, and I did see Niagara Falls. And I won, by the way. Number 18, because I'm tall, obviously my favorite standing techniques are Ashiwaza. And for the, again, for those people that don't know the terms, that means you're using foot techniques, like sweeps and things like that. I like Uchimata, Osotogari, uh, Sasai Surukumiyashi, Ochigari, Kochigari, De Ashibarai. All the standard classic stuff, they work all the time, every time, if you just practice it. 2,000 rep repetitions each and you'll, you'll start to get it. Number 19, my Tokui Waza, my favorite technique or combination, I just kind of told you, but it's Oso Togari to Sasai Surukumiyashi or vice versa. Works like a charm. Someday I'd like to train in Russia, Mongolia, France, and Brazil, maybe this ESL teaching will give me an opportunity, open some doors to be able to step on the mat in those countries just to see how they train before I get too old. Anyway, that's 20 judo facts about me. Matt Aquino, Victor Garcia Osada. I look forward to hearing about your judo facts about your life with the sport of judo. And I think a lot of other people will too. Anyway, folks, keep an eye out for their videos and thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace.